folks, welcome to another edition of Play Branson, where you get to know Branson's entertainers better. My name is Chris Meyer. I'm going to be your host for today. And on today's show, I have Christina Lingo Tabucci, one of the most, um, gosh, I, I would say exciting entertainers in town. She can do it all. And it's been a long, long time since she's been on the show. So we're really looking forward to having her back. The Tabucci family has entertained millions in Branson over the years and uh, really were the leaders in cutting edge production here in town. And so um, we're looking forward to talking to Christina and learning more about what's been going on in her life and their family show. Folks, it's the beginning of fall. It's a perfect time to come to Branson. There's fall colors, there's fall festivals, there's crafts, there's pumpkins. Um, and so lots to do here in Branson. And I, I, do, I do have to give a shout out today uh, Silver Dollar City named one of the top 10 U.S. amusement and water parks by TripAdvisor. And so in our back door, we have one of the best theme parks in the country, Silver Dollar City. What I thought was really interesting on this, um, their sister park in Tennessee, uh, Dollywood, was ranked number one. So the same company has number one and number six in the country. Um, and it all started here in Branson, Missouri. And so, uh, of course, they've got Universal Studios on here. Magic Kingdom, and so folks, uh, Silver Dollar City, a great theme park, great place to come in the fall. Uh, they've got crafts out there, they've got the great rides, great shows, of course, a lot of good food to eat, and so you'll wanna check them out. So we wanna say hats off to those folks out at Silver Dollar City for getting that amazing honor for top 10 U.S. amusement and water parks by TripAdvisor. So um, we're going to be back in just a second. Hang tight with Christina Lingo Tabucci. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782. iBranson.com. Hey folks, welcome back to the show. And on today's show, I have the one and only Christina Lingo Tabucci. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It has been a super long time since you have been on this show. In fact, it's been over five, no, five years. Five years. I cannot believe when we were talking before this that 2017 was five years ago. It's like yeah. all that's a blur. Yeah. It seems like, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It's hard to believe it's been that long. And so yeah. I, you know, we, I always tell people we try not to have people on the show like all the time right. because there's so many brands and entertainers, but five years is a long time. So welcome back. Well, thank you. So maybe there's somebody that they've, they're not real familiar with the Branson entertainment scene. And so kind of tell people your history and your family's history in this whole crazy Branson town. Well, we have been in Branson now for over 30 years. Um, my mom and dad, uh, Shoji and Dorothy Tabucci, um, well, actually, it goes back to dad coming here first and mm -hmm. being in different shows, Starlight, Country Music World. And then um, in 1989, we opened our very own show. And so over 30 years now. It's a long time. It's, it's, it's been an awesome, crazy, wild journey. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, it's been. Uh, so when did you start? When did you start? going on stage? I started going on stage when I was about five years old. And then by the time we got our own show, I was about eight years old. Okay. And then I've been doing it ever since. Ever since. And, you know, people ask me all the time, you know, were your parents, did they, did they make you do shows or did you want to do shows? And it's like, no, I loved doing it from the beginning. Okay. So they had a, a great thing over me with school because I knew if I did not make good grades, no shows. Mm. So good incentive. Then. Good incentive. Yeah. Good incentive. <laughs> so, so talk about talk a little bit about your evolution and the changes for you personally, starting at five to down the road. Oh my goodness! Um, you know, it started off when I was in the show. I had 
you know, a, a segment in the first half, a segment in the second half, and then I was in some of the cast numbers. And then um, that just built and progressed until um, my mom isn't in, she is not performing in the shows anymore. She's right. behind the scenes. So when she stopped doing shows, she came up with the idea I want you to move into what I was doing. Mm. So like all of her production numbers, in addition to what I was already doing, uh, some of the MC work, I started doing it. And I was like, are you, I was like 18. I was like, are you sure about this? She's <laughs> like, no, I'm positive. Yeah. And I'm so thankful that she kind of yeah. was like, you can do this. And and I did, and, and I'm very thankful for it. And then um, in, then the next year, there was an opening for the vocal director position, and I really wanted it. I mean, I had my mindset, I'm like, I can do this. And my parents were like, are you ready to do this? I don't know, you know? That's yeah. a big responsibility. So it was me and two other vocalists, and it was like, let's just see what happens. And I ended up getting it. Yeah. And, and so what uh, did that mean? Did that mean you were over all the vocals for I everybody? was over all of the vocalists at that time, all of our choreography, all of our, um, you know, reblocking if someone was out, teaching the vocal parts, teaching the speeches, making sure everybody knew what their presets were. I mean, it was a lot. That was my senior year of high school, but I wanted it mm -hmm. and I wanted to show that I could do it. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. And then after that, I took over, uh, with the dance uh, department, and then it's evolved now <laughs> into doing the shows, producing the shows now, and running you're, you're, the you're, operation. So you're kinda, you're <laughs> it's kind of progressed. You're kind of it. Like you, you make it all happen at the end of the day, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and so now, now, did you take a little bit of time where you left Branson and you went to Nashville? Oh Was yeah, that right. I did. I went to Nashville in. 2000 and one 2000 2001 and I went back and forth for 13 years and wow. um, I did some performing there some touring out of there um, love love Nashville and then um, my mom had some health issues and I was just like eh, I'm out I'm going back and so when I came back to you know make sure she was okay. It was like, this, I'm staying, I'm selling my yeah. house and I'm gonna devote all my time to the show. And I yeah. did. There you go. And yeah. then, of course, you said like, right after I think we interviewed several years ago, that's when you guys had the fire at your theater. And then like, you just have what, chaos, right? It, I mean, you wanna talk about some chaos. That, that was some chaos. I mean, you know, in, we had the fire that started first and then what a massive project and people may think that they know but unless you're doing it and mm -hmm. in it it's a whole nother story right and so we had just started you know nine months of rebuilding after that just to turn around and have a flood in the theater in the theater in the theater Not in, the, Branson, in, but in, the th in the area yeah that had been that we were just it was it was heartbreaking and so then after that i mean it just was such a pro a process but in 2017 we still had our tours and we were doing that mm -hmm. and clay cooper had given me uh, a call or had text and said you know are you guys gonna do your christmas show this year or and so it worked out that we went over there mm -hmm. and did shows uh for about two years at Clay's, which we had we had a ball doing. Right, yeah. and then you took a little time off during COVID. We did. And, and I think everybody thought Shoji was kind of done. Like the whole show was gone. It's, and then all of a sudden. Uh, here we are. You guys come back, so <laughs> yeah. So you have a daughter, I do. right? And I do. Uh, how, have you taught her any of this stuff yet? Or what are you, how's that working? She, I'm pretty sure she's, she's just got the performer in her. Okay. Um, she, she loves gymnastics. She loves to dance. She's just now starting to get to where she wants to sing. So I'm for whatever she wants to do. If she wants to do it, 
we're going to work hard at it and do it. And if she doesn't want to do it, and then she, she we'll find something else. Okay. <laughs> um, so you could see actually what I'd call third generation entertainer here. Mm -hmm. And that's the, that's the beautiful thing I think about Branson is this is a place where families entertain families. And sure. uh, this is another example of mm -hmm. like, and you're not, you're not really, I always say you're not that old, but you've really been doing this for decades. Right. And so <laughs> you can sing, you can dance. Now, do you play, you play instruments too? I do. Yeah. I play I play the guitar in the show, and then I also grew up playing piano, violin, and saxophone. Okay, so multi-talented <laughs> entertainer here. Okay, we're going to be right back in just a second. Hang tight. Hey folks, welcome back to the show. We're talking to Christina Lingo Tabucci. And uh, Christina, tell us, tell us about the show and like even at like how did it end up happening kind of thing? Very fast. <laughs> Very fast. You know, like you said, in 2020 and 2021, we weren't performing. Um, and then very quickly this year, um, the opportunity came up to do the show. And, you know, we've always done a production show uh, with the dancing and, you know, the jackets and the costumes and all the things. And dad has been saying for a little while now that he's wanted to do a show where he could talk about his journey from Japan to the U.S., mm -hmm. where all he went through to get to where he is in Branson now through songs. And we hadn't had the opportunity to do it before, but when this came up this year, we it was like, ah, now's the time to do it. So yeah. that's been, you know, for people that have been coming to see the show, no matter how many times you've seen it, seeing the show, you will find out even more through through the stories that he's telling and it's just it's really been fun and it's been like an intimate setting yes and so let's talk about yeah. that because the show is at the the little opry theater in the imax mm -hmm. complex so you used to have a what two thousand seat theater yes and now you when you say intimate it's like what two hundred and some two hundred seat. seats yeah. yeah and so i what a unique opportunity to see you guys at an intimate setting it has been, and I feel like, you know, we we opened in April, uh, we took August off, and to see the audience's response too. And they do feel, I think, even more included because it is mm. tighter, you know? Right. Um, but we definitely still, you know, I'm not doing a show without bringing out his jackets. So we definitely still got all the jacket changes. And Those you know, jackets are heavy, by the way, folks. He's, they are. I've, I've held one of them and I'm like, holy cow, they're heavy. Uh, they really are. Yeah. And then if you think about him holding his arms up and playing that whole time, it's like, wow. So, you know, we have our musicians, we brought some set pieces and um, the jackets and we just have a great time. Now, is there, is it, is it a, is there an intermission or is it just a straight show all it's the way a, through? It's a straight show. Um, I open the show for the first about 20, 25 minutes and then uh, dad comes out and then it's about 90 minutes, no intermission and. Now do you guys come out and do things together too or is it? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, you know, I hadn't, I don't like to have dead space, but I do, I haven't planned on this, but folks, we promote this every so often. Here is the Play Branson magazine. And look, who's on the cover? We have Shoji and Christina on the cover. So if, if you're around town, pick this magazine up. There is an article about this whole thing in the publication. So want to check that out. Anyway, I just had to put a plug in there for that. It's a great yeah. cover. Yeah, it is. It looks it pretty looks darn so pretty. good. Pretty darn good. So um, anyway, we're glad to have your family back entertaining. Thank and, you. You know, Shoji was the first person on this show, number one. Uh, way back in the day and so that was such an honor for him to come and do that and he's been on the show a couple other times uh, mm -hmm. since then but it's been a while um, and so 
Let's let's talk about let's go back to the show. Types okay. of music that people are going to experience in the show this year. Um, types of music. Uh, well, in my opening segment, you've got everything from Tina Turner to Dolly Parton to, I mean, Celine Dion. So Brooks and Dunn. I mean, there, there's a wide variety. Okay. And then as far as dad, you've got, you know, uh, the jazz influences that he had. Of course, the country, uh, rock and roll. And, um, you know, I've got him doing some Lady Gaga and some Lady Led Zeppelin, too. Violin wise. Oh, yes. So, and he nails it, I'm just saying. I wish that's pretty cool. I'm telling you, if you could have been in those production meetings when I first brought these songs up to him, and I was just like, trust me, trust me, <laughs> and now he does them, and I'm like, see, it's awesome. He does yeah. a great job. Well, and here's what, here's, what I, what, here's what you have to think about, is the audience 30 years ago is different today. Sure. So, you know, I tell people, you know, that age range of, the person that is now 60 grew up in right. the 70s, 80s, right. you know? uh, And so I think the, the Branson, uh, the songs are changing mm -hmm. to reflect kind of the current audience. And so it sounds like you're, you've done that. Sure, I feel like we've always tried to have something for everyone like all the genres, you know? Mm -hmm. Because I feel like, yes, there are different ages and they, they wanna see all the things. Yeah. Okay, the show mm -hmm. um, is going through October 22nd on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So you do four day run. Mm -hmm. And then you come back November 2nd through December 10th for Christmas show. So is it going right. to be half different, all different? Like what's going to, do you know what's going to happen? I'm in the process of that right now. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Okay. But there will definitely, it will definitely be a Christmas show. Okay. And there will definitely be changes from the regular season. Yeah. And it's going to be most of the same Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday schedule. Although I think there may be one Thursday or Friday in there that you guys aren't. Right. Um, but for the most part, um, it's those, those time frames. So folks, here's the deal. You can go to the Little Opry Theater, go over to IMAX, go eat at McFarland's, do a little shopping. Um, you know, do, you can do a bunch of stuff over there and then go to the show and it's at 7.30 or 8? It's at 8. It's 8. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't have that written down here. We'll make, write that down, 8 o'clock. Um, and then I also, I still have a little bit of time. I was talking to you in the, the, in, in the intermission about, you do some other stuff as well. Do you want to promote any of your other stuff? Well, I have my website, ChristinaTabucci.com, and I started going through things for those that know what Poshmark is and the listing stuff there. So there's the closet there. Um, there's also some other dates that are going to be popping up of different performances outside of the Little Opry show that we're doing. Um, there's all kinds of fun stuff on there. So, yeah. so if you're a lady and you like nice clothing, you need to go check out her website because she's got some really good stuff. And I looked at it last night and I'm like, holy cow. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry if your wife's watching this. I'm just sorry. But the other thing, and I do want to talk about real quickly, you and Shoji went to the White House we and did. did some stuff with President George W. Bush. Can you talk about that? Man, you want to talk about a once in a lifetime thing. That was really amazing. We went in 2006. It was when the Japanese prime minister was coming through um, on his last, uh, what would you say? I don't know. We'll just Sorry. say a diplomatic yeah. trip. Yeah. Yes, his last one before he was out of office. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so we were invited to do that. The cool thing was is Dad was not supposed to perform. The prime minister had been trying to come to Branson to see Dad perform, but because of uh, and see the show, but because of security issues, it wasn't able to happen. Well, right as we got done, I believe with the dinner, they were like, "The prime minister wants you to play." He didn't have his violin. Mm. He did not have. I mean, nothing was planned, and he wanted to hear. The prime minister of Japan wanted to hear country music, so they went and grabbed a violin from the or one of the orchestra players, and Brian Setzer was there to be the entertainment, and that's who ended up backing Dad up, huh. and he just 
swiped a violin and he played uh, Milk Cow Blues. I can't remember what else, but it was, I mean, I was so, I mean, just the American dream, man. Oh, I, know, I mean, I like, I'm so proud of him. And, and it's we, an honor to be and, there. And, and I love the fact that you said American dream because that is that is your family story. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's, you know, people can come to America, literally have nothing on their, in their pockets and become extremely successful. Um, and, and, and Shoji's really been known as the king of brands. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've called him anyway. Now, if that's <laughs> if it's some other terminology, who knows? Uh -huh. But um, it's just been awesome to see that. And as your, your family's been very successful, you're a great entertainer. You can do it Thank all. You. Um, so folks, go see this show. Get the Play Branson magazine. You'll find out a lot more about it in there. Uh, but go see it. You, it's running now through December 10th. So you need to go check it out. We'll be back in just a moment to wrap the show up. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782 ibranson.com Hey folks, welcome back to the show. We want to thank Christina Lingo Tabucci for coming out to the show today. Be sure to go check out the show An Evening with Shoji uh, at the Little Opry Theater over at the Branson IMAX Complex. That's located on Shepherd of the Hills Expressway kind of across from Golden Corral and the Red Lobster Restaurant. If you're not familiar with that, that area, it is on the northwest corner of uh, the Branson area. And so you'll want to be able to want to go check that show out. Once again, it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturdays at 8 p.m. through October 22nd. And then they come back November 2nd through December 10th for their Christmas shows. You will be entertained by the one and only Shoji Tabuchi. And then you can also see Christina there as well. Next week's show. We're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, and we do this every once in a while, uh, but we're gonna have an attraction here and we're gonna have Bruce Hershen. Uh, he's been on the show in the past, but he has got a new attraction called Adventure Cave Tours. And so we're gonna talk to him about what is going on with that new attraction. Uh, upcoming events, we always like to promote the upcoming events here that are happening in the area. Um, on October 10th, Matt Gum has got his show over at Clay Cooper's. That's on October 17th. And then he's got a couple more in December. We've got Larry's Country Diner here happening literally now for the next couple days, October 6th and 7th with some variety of guests. Ricky Skaggs coming back to town October 14th and the Malpress Brothers on November 4th. Those are all shows at the Clay Cooper Theater. Then we've got a whole bunch of shows over at the Mansion Theater. We've got the Oak Ridge Boys, Jimmy Fortune, the Gatlin Brothers, the Bellany Brothers, Gene Watson, uh, Home Free. We've got all of those uh, in October, November. So check out their, uh, their schedules for all of those different shows. And then we have Daniel O'Donnell coming back to town November 2nd through the 17th. That is at what used to be the Welk Resort Theater. I think it's changed its name now, uh, but same location out there. Also the Pumpkin Fest and the Harvest Festival out at Shepherd of the Hills in Silver Dollar City. So lots happening this fall in Branson. Now, if you're like, if you haven't been to Branson yet this fall, you need to come. And fall's a great time. People will call us and say, when are the colors changing? We have not figured out the exact day to tell people when the colors change. It, you just never know. So you just gotta come and enjoy the fall weather. Uh, if you need help planning your vacation, you can go to ibranson.com. That's ibranson.com, or you can call those folks at 877-ENTERTAIN, and they can help put your entire Branson vacation together. Hotels, shows, attractions. You can even buy some discount dining vouchers from them, and uh, they will provide you great service, no costly, huge service fees, um, and they can help you out. So be sure to check them out, and be sure to come back next week and watch uh, our next show with Bruce Hershen. So we'll see you soon.